Hi. I'll continue again here. All right. If so, then again, what is this hundreds of years after the fact nonsense? Can't they get their story straight? But the gospel, goodness, was being preached. Jesus went into Galilee, Galilee and proclaimed the gospel of God. He said, quote, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the gospel. Mark 1, 14 to 15. And a time is nigh. That is what was being preached. Where are those scriptures? We have neither the gospel of Jesus nor gospel of God with us. Where in the book that the Quran says it confirms does it say Jesus or a prophet after Moses was to be given a book? Scripture for that, please. Do we have any book that was written while Jesus was among the people? There never was a book given to Isa, you know? Muhammad, on the other hand, believed there was. Like he believed one was given to Dawud with the Zabur, Psalms, and Torah, with Moses. But he blew it even with the Torah as well. But the Torah was never just one book, but was a collection of five books. Muhammad blew it there as well. It was only after Jesus left the early abode, the earthly abode that Paul started talking about other gospel, other false gospel. If Paul had said he was squeezed in a cave, by an angel. <laughs> Every time he said he couldn't read, would you believe him then? If Paul said he took a flying donkey-like creature with the wings of a bird, head of a human, and tail of a peacock from one place to another in a journey by night, would you believe Paul then? Quote, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of God, uh, in the grace of Christ, and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Could it be that he was prophetically talking about the Quran? Remember, gospel in Greek is good news, and the Quran is good news to a Muslim, is it not? Evidently, some people are throwing, into, throwing you into confusion and are, are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. Gee, could it be... Oh, who could it be? Could it be Muslims? But even if we are an angel of light... Quote, but even if we are an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. <laughs> he's, using the, he's using the words of Paul to attack Paul. You know? Uh, that's funny. I take those words of Paul as a warning against Islam. You know? That's funny. He, he, he uses Paul to attack Paul. That's, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Paul said if we are an angel from heaven... Uh, preach any other gospel, let, uh, let it be a curse. Okay. Again, unless he is being squeezed to near death for admitting he can't read, then you believe him for what he says the angel of light tells him, right? I trust when Jesus returns, he will not judge by the, God, the, by the Bible, which he never sought anyway, because those are not words revealed to him, but changed. Changed, edited, modified, deleted, added to. If so, then how can you believe in the Quran? For again, how can you believe in Quran 355 and Quran 6114? Be tr how can they be true about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection? Aren't those two scriptures no lies? Also, if you're right, that the New Testament is not the angel, then again, why should the Jews and Christians scan from upon the Torah an angel? Why are Christians who use the angel to judge their end of the Quran? 
according to the Quran, 547. If you are right, doesn't it make the Quran a lie and a joke to come to me for my reading of the, the before scriptures with Quran 1094? It does. Does it not? It also makes Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 285, and 70, 70, and 40, 70 through 72 lies for telling you, a Muslim, to make to, to believe in all the books of Allah and make no distinction between all those books if the Quran is the only book of Allah that is not corrupted. Face it. He will judge by the Quran which confirms the angel, confirms gospel of God. That same Quran says Jesus and his followers is prevailing and being uppermost in the day of resurrection, which is a lie. That same Quran tells Jews and Christians to stand firm upon the Torah angel and tells Christians to use the angel to judge your end of the Quran. According to Quran 547. Which is a lie if the angel is corrupted or lost? Face it. Sahih al Bakari, Hadith 4, point 650, narrated by Abu Harara, Allah's Messenger, said, How will you be when the son of Mary, Jesus, descends against, amongst, amongst you, and he will judge between He'll judge people by the law of the Quran and not by the law of gospel. Well, if the gospel is corrupted or or not, well, is the, is the gospel corrupted or not corrupted? If Jesus isn't going to isn't going to judge by the gospel, isn't that admitting that the gospel is corrupted, even in heaven? If so, then how can you how can you be telling the truth that you do believe in the real gospel? You know. Are any of the Gospels told or narrated or written by himself? In a way. But the angel says God is working all things in the glory and counsel of his will. My Christian friends say that even the Bible has changed. The core message is the same. Oh, I bet they do. I ask you, what is the point of having only the core when the body is missing? Who said it's missing? Are you to, are you to only... Have the car and live the rest out. What was left out? Name it. I mean, really, what was left out? Is that enough? Again, what was left out of the Bible? What if you are missing some important parts, such as don't we want to know the whole for a minute, the whole for a message? Sure, but what was left out? Don't tell me. All the times Jesus told his followers. To be on prayer rugs five times a day with the petitions in the air, right? Yeah. The current gospels are an account of the events of actions of Yahshua, not completely the inspired work. Don't believe God can. I take it you don't believe God can work things, work thing all, work all things the glory and counsel of His will. God is weak. True. God is not planning, nor did. God is not planning, nor did not plan. True. The angel was a, is the inspired word of God. Was. Angel is basically not available in its pristine form. If not, then the Quran is a joke. Want me to post all the reasons why again. God, can God's word be corrupted? Apparently, a Muslim will say, yes. It's true that the original words of God cannot be tampered with. Where? Where? In the Quran does it say the original words of Allah? Now, where does it say original words of Allah in the Quran? Again, if there is an uncorrupted angel in heaven that has become the New Testament down here on earth, then Quran 5 verse 55 I mean, Quran 3, verse 55, and Quran 61, 14, are lies about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. Face it, those two scriptures are now lies. And they are. Allah Swat, Allah Swat, has the same, has the first copy. One cannot corrupt the original. If you're right, then the angel has become corrupted after the writing of the Quran. Because Quran three 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 verse three has it in error has it in Arabic quote between his hands between between Muhammad's hands. Check this out. Here it is. Quote between his hands. These words have been replaced by before it. This is done to override the original words, which is Baina 
Between his hands is what it says in Arabic. Yeah. If the words are translated correctly, how much time do I have left here? So do I have time? I better hurry up here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if the words are translated correctly, the word the reader will conclude that the Bible that was at Muhammad's time between his hands is being corrupted and can be used as a guide to the truth, which Muslims want to cover up since they know the Bible that is at Muhammad's hands is the same as the Bible we have today. But Islamic pride forces them to ignore the facts. The words between his hands is all over the Quran. It has been changed throughout the whole uh, English Quran to say before it. Putting the Bible at an unknown time in the past between the Quran. Here is another one from Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Quote, it is he who sent down to thee in truth the book confirming what went before it. And he sent down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus. That's Al-Imran 3.3. 3. Here is the word, here is a word for word translation. Arabic. Nazala alaika al-kitabu bel haki musadikan dikan lima baina yadahi yadahi thank you i can't pronounce i'm sorry i can't pronounce it he sent down to you the book in truth confirming what is between his hands thus the new testament angel had to be corrupted after the time of muhammad uh, wait a minute, that's what you're saying? Uh, right. He, he, sent you, he sent you the book in truth confirming what is between his hands, thus the New Testament in jail, had to be corrupted after the time of Muhammad. But this is not true for the New Testament of Muhammad's time matches the meaning with the New Testament of our time. And again, if the angel is corrupted, then the Quran is a lie with Quran 3. 55 and Quran 64, 61, 14 uh, about Jesus and his followers prevailing being uppermost till the day of resurrection. Face it. Let's see how much time I have left. Oh gosh, I better quit here. Bye.